and I should call you and try to make hey, it work. Man, it's your boy A1 Viz, man. I'm coming at y'all boys. I'm coming at y'all boys with another vid, man. Tap in, bro. Lock in, bro. Like the video, bro. Subscribe, bro. Share the vid, bro. Show love, bro. Mm, tap in. Yo, man. So today, man, I wanted to talk to y'all boys about being in certain... What, nigga? No. My bad. Situations that you will be in. Yes, man. Situations that you will be in. I had this topic going probably for like a week, two weeks, man, just to help me build up and put content on I it. Mean, why not, bro? I grew up on content like this uh, Bugatti Bees, you know, uh, T Pendel. A lot of guys used to make content on like, you know, just shit you will go through when you get to a certain age. So why not me? You know what I'm saying? Why not? You feel me? Why not? Let's get into it, bro. So I wanted to make this first video about getting roasted something else. Yeah, man, I know. Getting roasted, like, nigga, it, you could be, like, you can, you ain't even gotta be, like, the issue, bro. You could be just standing by the roasting and laughing at a joke, and then next thing you know, you the one getting roasted on. Like, crazy work, ain't it? It's crazy work. Crazy work. So, when I was younger, I really wasn't a roaster, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying I'm the best looking guy, but I ain't saying I'm the worst looking guy either, but nigga, I used to get roasted. My grandma roasts me. It's part of life, bro. It happens. But, if you haven't been in this situation yet, or you have been in this situation and you really don't know like what to do when you in it and you don't want to feel like you were, you know, can't say like, you know, YouTube, but you don't want to feel like you, you know what I'm saying? A B-A-N, you feel? A B-A-N, you don't want to feel like that. You want to make sure you straight, bro. I got you. So situation, you know, you could be anywhere. Like it really don't matter where you at, bro. You could be at the house, bro. You could be at the mall, bro. You could be with your mom, nigga. Your brother could roast you. It could happen anywhere. It could pop off roasting time because it's time is lit. You know, other places they call it like, I know my mom and them back in the day, they used to call it like playing dozens or some bullshit like that. Roasting nigga, uh, getting flamed up, flaming niggas, all of that. Like you can hop on, you niggas on that with you. You feel me? Back in the day, I know roasting was a big thing. I don't know how it is now as a kid, bro. I know. Then you getting picked on, you getting trolled for sure, though. I know niggas is trolling. I know that's happening. I stay getting trolled. That's a different story for a different day, bro. I ain't gonna lie. So I could give you for this is, bro, try to just stay in your lane. If you a cool dude, bro, you know you're not really, you know, savvy like that. Can't come up with the jokes that quick. You know what I'm saying? Or you know you're just not that funny, bro. You're not. Everybody ain't funny, bro, and that's okay. Or you just not mean. You're not that type of person that is sit here and talk about somebody. Bro, that is perfectly fine, bro. That's perfectly fine, my nigga. You do not have to sit there and talk to nobody, nigga. You ain't got a rose back, bro. You could just walk away. You know what I'm saying? But when you walk away as a man or a woman, that messes with your self-esteem, bro. You know this nigga just done got just got done flaming you, nigga. What the fuck you mean? And you ain't about to just flame me up and I ain't about to come back next time. So you can either plot your revenge later or take it with a grain of salt, walk away, come back, go back to the crib, bro. When you go back to the crib, bro, Google, nigga. Hit Google up how to roast. Oh god, some YouTube video gonna come up. Some YouTube video on how to roast is gonna pop up, bro. You gonna click it, you gonna watch a little bit of it, you gonna take something from it, you gonna go to another video, then boom, you gonna go to Wildin' Out or some some funny shit you know that's gonna get you in the game of roasting, my nigga, cause these niggas is torching your shit, bro. They're torching your shit, my nigga. You gotta come back. You gotta be able to say something back. You gotta have a follow-up. We're gonna be a follow-up. That's why you on your mom. Man, go do what J Man say. Do your research, or Lil Reese, do your what? Or yeah, what the fuck am I talking about, bro? What are you talking about, man? Got them niggas mixed. I fuck it. But you know what you gotta do, bro. If you get roasted, bro, go back to the crib, bro. Go get right, bro. Come back the next day. Put them boys aflame, bro. Go talk, man. Hey, some more advice I could give you. You know what I'm saying? If you are, if you do find yourself in this hot, very very, very, very embarrassing situation. And you getting roasted, it's like, you look around, everybody laughing at you, you know what I'm saying? You seeing, you know what I'm saying? You know, yeah, you be ready to bug up, fight, it's gonna be that flame in your heart. You, you, you don't know how to describe the feeling, nigga. You don't even got nothing funny to say back, nigga. So, you can take the bad road. Yeah, nigga, if you know something about him, say it. His mama died, say it. He got beat up, say it. You got to touch the court. Everybody laughing at you. You got to get that get back. You can't just let this nigga say what he want to say. Tell you want to slide off, bro. You got to let him know, nigga. Fuck your mom. I know she died last year. Fuck her, nigga. 
Fuck you. Like, you got to take it there with him because you're not a roaster and he just disrespected you. That is a level of disrespect no matter how much, no matter, no matter how many people are laughing, bro, you take that as disrespect, bro, every time. On God. On God. On God, you take that as disrespect every time, bro. No matter how many people is laughing, bro, take it as disrespect, bro. Because nobody's laughing with you, bro. They're laughing at you, bro. On God. <laughs> Some Another piece of advice I could give you, bro, for this situation right here. If you, don't, if you know you don't really dress the best, bro, don't go put yourself in a bad position and buy no fake ass clothes, bro. I know you want to look like, you know, at the end of the day, you can say you don't care. You're going to wear it make you happy, bro. Let's be honest, bro. You, th you think it's cool. You hope it'll pass, bro. A lot of niggas is going to detect that shit. It's not passing. This nigga I know named V.S. Cheeto was walking up to niggas' coats, scanning their shit, and if it didn't pop up, he was calling them out. On God, I don't know what's wrong with the nigga. He crazy. But niggas will do shit like this. Uh, When I was young, I don't know, y'all some young niggas, but when I was coming up, belts. Belts was a big thing, nigga. Gucci belts, Louis belts, Fendi belts, Hermans belts, nigga, whatever. Nigga, any belt that was big and looked sweet, and it matched, niggas had it on, nigga. But I know a lot of niggas was perpetrating. We know a lot of you niggas had fake belts. Y'all niggas ain't slick. We know y'all niggas that had the fake belts, man. Nigga, you listen to projects. Come here. You feel me, nigga? You can't afford that. Nigga, this don't even make sense. The fit don't even make sense because they on his ass every time, bro. And I seen that shit. I'm telling you, bro, if you know you ain't got it like that, bro, don't come to school with no... You feel me? Don't come to school with no motherfucking fake shit on, bro. You making yourself a target. Niggas will talk about you, bro. But it's the lame niggas that'll talk about you too. Like the nigga, we both, we both in the same predicament. We both fucked up. You get cooked like I get cooked. But he trying to make a light on him, get cool with everybody else cooking you. He gonna join in on cooking you and you know damn well he get cooked like a bitch. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. You don't wanna be in that position. Cause now, you know, his hands ain't even where they need to be at. You gotta get with him now. You ain't even gonna cook him back because you know he pure bitch. You, you're getting witting now, nigga. We're getting down now, nigga. Throw the FF, nigga. Friendly fade. Throw it, throw that bitch, nigga. We scrapping now, nigga. Yeah, it's going down. Now, this one, kind of undefeated. I'm not going to lie. Female roasting. A lot of females don't roast, but, bro, the ones that do, they don't play it fair, bro. They don't play it fair. You can't, you can, you can flame a girl for sure, but... When a girl say something to a guy, it's kind of like automatically, ooh, you know what I'm saying? And once that ooh go in there, everybody kind of already got in their mind who they rooting for in this little roasting session that's about to go down because she done said something about you. So now it's automatic meat ride. You automatic, mm -mm, automatic dick suck over here. All automatic dick suck over here to what they saying now, bro. So whatever you about to say to her, got to be, hmm, right back, a stinger. And it can't be nothing weak, like, you know girls is real sensitive. So if you say something about her weight, everybody gonna be kind of and like anticipating that. But through the anticipation, if you're gonna say something like that, you gotta kinda like, you know what I'm saying? Like throw it out there, but kinda like in like a crazy ass way. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mix it in with something, you know what I'm saying? Or hey, nigga, or hey, go for the killer. You feel me? But right here, holds home. Cause old people be roasting the fuck out of us. If you young, old people roast you in old people terms, bro. On God, for instance, I'm working a job. These niggas ain't saying nothing but 90 slang. They flaming me in 90 slang, nigga. I was born in 2001. How the fuck is... I'm not understanding what these niggas saying. They talking like they in the 80s and shit in the 90s. Bro, I'm born in 2001, bro. You feel what I'm saying, bro? Jeans, he type shit. You feel me? Like, I'm not... no. You feel what I'm saying, bro? Like, no, nigga. Bro, these niggas is roasting me, bro. Roasting me up, bro. Like, oh, the little nigga, huh? Like, up. Uh, Nigga asked me, like, I went in there to use the bathroom type shit, right? Anything you do is young nigga shit, too. You got to know that. So I went to the bathroom. I go use the bathroom. I wash my hands. I handle my business. I leave out. The nigga asked me, did you wash your hands before you uh, start using the bathroom? I said, no. He said, he looked back. Everybody back there laughing. He a young nigga, man. He don't know nothing. He a young nigga. I'm sitting there. Because y'all niggas was in the bathroom too. And y'all didn't wash your hands before y'all pissed either. So, am I nasty like y'all or am I a young nigga too? I mean, are y'all young niggas too? Which one is it? You know what I'm saying? That did me. That's what I want to know. Like, But like, they do shit like that too. So you got to pick up on that shit, bro. And like I said, nigga, 
But I wasn't about to scrap 30, like, it was like five niggas on that bus. It's just me and all them niggas old as hell. Like, I would have beat two, three of their ass, but all of them, bro. No, nah, we got to be honest with yourself. I ain't had a blick with me, bro. It wasn't going down like that. But it's all jokes at the end of the day, right? All right. All right. So I can have shit in my background while I make my story times and shit, bro. I'm taking you two serious, man. Bro, you know what I'm saying?